Hi, kids. All right, so I'm going to do a short little intro about power. Um, hey, do you remember when I told you I have a sweet car? Remember how I told you my sweet car goes from zero to 60 miles an hour? Yeah, that's right. My, my sweet car, it goes from zero to 60 miles per hour. Isn't that super impressive? Oh, what's that? Oh, yeah, you wanted to know how much time does it take? Because when you're talking about a car, it's not really the change in velocity that's important. It's the acceleration, which was the change in velocity over time, the rate that the velocity changes. Well, in this unit, you could think, hey, I have a sweet car. It gains kinetic energy. Yeah, that's, well, like, at what rate does it gain kinetic energy? That's what we're talking about when you talk about power. Okay, and in fact, cars talk about this all the time. They talk about horsepower. Okay, horsepower is is just how powerful it used to be. How powerful the king's horse was. They would have the the king's horse uh, change potential energy by lifting something out of a well and rate measure the rate that he would the the horse would lift uh, something out of a well. And that would be a horsepower, and which is ridiculous because then that horse dies and then the horsepower would change. And finally they realized, geez, I need to standardize this. But that's what a horsepower actually stands for. It's the rate that your energy gets converted. <coughs> so power equals the rate energy changes. And if you look on your handy-dandy formula sheet, okay, you will see it. It's I'm going to get rid of this part because that part's the gross memorizing part. But you'll see it right here, okay, that power is the change in energy over the time. Well, remember, okay, change in energy, oh, yeah, that's just work. So, you know, power is defined as, okay, the formula for it, capital P for power, is going to be change in energy over time. Or sometimes, a lot of times, you're going to see it as the rate work is done. So if you want to determine your power, you got to do some work and measure your time. Okay, it's the rate work is done. Um, Let's take a look at the, the units for power. Well, the units for work or energy is going to be joules. And the units for time are going to be seconds. So the units for power are going to be joules per second. Okay. Let's see. Does joules per second have another name? I, I just can't think of what it is. Hmm. What could it be? Oh yeah, uh, a joule per second is a call, is called a watt. What? It's a watt, and I know that joke is never ever gonna get old. So the units are going to be watts. What watts? But just remember, a joule, a watt. What? A watt is really a joule per second. Okay. So just so you know, a watt is a watt. What? A watt is a watt. Well, if you have a sixty watt light bulb. That means it's converting 60 joules of energy every single second. Now, what is it converting? It's converting from electrical energy to light and heat. Um, but, uh, yes, that's what it means. It means it's converting 60 uh, joules of energy every single second. Remember we talked about a horsepower? One horsepower is actually equal to 746 watts. What? 746 watts. I told you that never gets old. Um, so the king's horse was converting 746 joules per second, which is a horsepower. So if you have a car, like, you know, my car is probably like 60 horsepower. It's ridiculous. Um, that, uh, that means I, I would be converting 60 times this number joules per second. Okay. Um, so yeah, I hope, I hope that makes sense. Power, honestly, it's not very difficult. Don't make it very difficult. Um, how do you find it? You just have to measure the rate that work is done. One last thing. I just want to make sure that this makes sense to you as well. Because every so often you'll see this just so you you got it. 
So power is work over time. Okay, work, as long as you're talking about a constant force, it's this. But I want to show you d over t, oh yeah, where that's going to be your average speed. So, you know, for example, okay, if you have, you know, a, if you're moving something at a constant speed, you know, it, and you have to exert a force in order to overcome friction, well, you can find your power by that force times that speed. But honestly, as long as you understand this, that's really what you need to know. Okay, bye kids.